Now I'm going to give you an excellent top tip when you're scanning the lateral elbow, particularly with patients with tennis elbow or common extensor tendinopathy. The key thing is to find the extensor carpi radialis brevis, which is where most of the pathology will be found. Here we go. So remember, there's four tendons that attach onto the ex common extensor tendon, the lateral epicondyle. We've got ECRB. Now remember, that is the one that we're going to look for specifically in this video. You've got ECRL. No, you don't. ECRL does not attach onto the lateral epicondyle. It goes superior to that. You've got extensor digitorum communis, extensor digiti minimi, and don't forget extensor carpi ulnaris. So remember, ECRL does not attach onto the common extensor tendon. And the one that we're going to look at specifically on this video, which is the one where you get a lot of pathology, is ECRB. Now, before we scan, I really want you to get your head around this. So remember, you're scanning the lateral elbow. This is obviously where the tendon attaches on, and we can all feel our radial head. Okay. Now, it's important that you think about the radial head and the sensation of the probe on a certain part of the radial head. So now I'm going to replace the radial head with a gel bottle. So when you're scanning, when you're scanning at, if you imagine now that this is a clock, if I'm scanning at around three o'clock, this is where we're going to get a picture of all of the tendons of the common extensor tendon, okay? not just the ECRB. But then if I then slide my probe up, tilting as I go, so I'm almost facing down and I can feel that I can push down onto the radial head. That's going to be more where we get the ECRB and that's where we need to look for pathology. So just remember, it's not on the outside of the elbow. We need that wire pointing up to get ECRB. Okay, so what we can see here is the radial head with the articular cartilage on top. On top of that, he transverses the annular ligament. This is the supinator muscle. If we go over here, we can see the radiocollateral ligament, which is continuous with the annular ligament there. And then you can see the lateral epicondyle on the bone, make the bone bright. And then you can see this here is the view of the common extensor tendon. Now that is not specific to the ECRB, because as you can see from the pro position, you can see I'm pushing into the outside of the radius, which the radial head at around the three o'clock position. If I just bring the probe up and tilt, what you start to see is this individual fibula pattern here going on to the lateral epicondyle. Now, this is the ECRB tendon here. You can see it's got quite a wide footprint attachment onto the lateral epicondyle. It gets obviously wider as we go more uh, proximal, and as we go distally, it gets thinner. It's this hypochoric region here, and you can follow it all the way down into the forearm. This is the supinator. Now, we know this is the ECRB tendon. We will show you this in transverse. But this is the ECRL muscle belly, and that's a really nice landmark to know that this is the ECRB tendon as it attaches onto the lateral epicondyle. Now in transverse section, what you can see here is this side is the most superior aspect of the probe. And what we're looking here at here is the radius, the supinator muscle that wraps all the way around the radius. And then we're going to look for the scorpion's tail, which is this really nice image here of the scorpion's tail. Okay. This is extensor digitorum muscle belly. This is extensor carpi radialis brevis muscle belly. Now, this is the ECRB tendon. This is what we want to follow. Now, if I just toe down, I get a really nice image of the tendon as it forms, as it goes onto the lateral epicondyle. So we keep it in the middle and we move up and you just keep your eye. The extensor digitorum muscle belly above gets smaller and here's the tendon forming. And if we just keep tilting our probe, work the probe, here we go, we can see it coming on to the lateral epicondyle. Okay, now this here is the ECRB tendon, and this is the lateral epicondyle coming up. We know that it's the ECRB tendon because there's that ECRL muscle belly right next to it. So that again, that's a nice landmark. So this is a transverse section of the ECRB as it attaches on to the lateral epicondyle. Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry, we've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos, you can make a comment, you can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos and you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning!